Greetings and salutations. Back to our old intro. Um, these are early Imperial Roman generals um, from Vitrix, and we bought a box to see what they look like. And they came in this nice plastic packet, which is awesome. And this is the sprue. Um, so there's not going to be a huge amount to directly talk about because they're just Roman generals. Yeah, officers. Yeah, so they're, they're generals, officers, whatever you want them, to, want them to be. But we will rush through everything. Right, so um, you have three types of horses. One has lots of gubbins on and it's rearing up on its hind legs, which is awesome. Then you have one that's in quite nice gear and another one that's in quite nice gear. So they're just normal. Whereas that one, he's clearly showing off a lot. He's got lots of stuff all over his horse. It's very pretty. <laughs> right, all three have cloaks and each cloak fits a different figure so you have to wear that one out uh, it actually it tells you on the yeah, back of the box right. um, so we have a pointy stick no general goes into battle without his trusty pointy stick in roman times um, then we have a guy saluting and, and then a sword waving in the air and then we have exactly well more or less the same but with different types of armor on yeah yeah then we have the nice head thing and now we get to the the good bit, the really good bit, which is the awesome heads. Let me see the awesome heads there. So we have a grumpy old Roman, and then we have an officer who's got a huge head plume. Then we have another guy not so grumpy, and then two standard officers' heads, which have um, plumes to go on them as well. Uh, then we have the bodies, and we have one body here, which is in a nice breastplate, one body that's got a breastplate with lots of posh stuff on it, and another guy with loads of medals. The, the horses remind me a lot of the uh, Roman light. The Roman Imperial, uh, early Imperial light, Roman yeah. light cavalry, yeah, it's practically the same horses. I think they actually, no they're not, they're not exactly the same, but they're almost the same. Yeah, they just don't have the add-ons. Like the water bottles and stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. I love all the water <laughs> bottles. Um, so we will actually have a look at them assembled. We have this one here. This is the normal... I did one of each. Um, so this is a normal ridey man with his nice posh cloak on. And he's got his sword raised. And that's how he looks. And he's pretty cool. He's sort of riding along. Um, that is... Suetonius. You even gave them little names. Yeah, I based each character on a different character. I'm um, leaving the last one to I about. understand why he's he, because the head is definitely him. <laughs> yeah, that's for Tonius, right. We know who he is, yeah. Uh, and so we'll get to him yeah, in a minute. We're going to do this guy next. Um, this is kind of, uh, this is what we're going to be using for Germanicus. Uh, for the Germanicus campaign against the Germans. But you could use him as a errant cavalry officer. Possibly even King Arthur, but he's not a Salmatian, so it's actually a few hundred years early for that. Um, but it uh, depends what film you watch. I've seen some really dodgy films. <laughs> Romans fighting Vikings and Picts at the same time. In fact, it doesn't wonder the Robin Hoods. Doesn't that have Picts in it? I think a World War in it as well, I'm pretty sure. Where they end up highlighting bows and stuff, and they end up going to like some sort of like desert place. And they they like like they're fighting with bows and stuff in like proper like towns and stuff. It's very confusing. Yes, yeah, there's some really <laughs> weird. Don't understand what was going on yeah. through it. Like, there's a good film called the Eagle. I like that film because it has they actually used Roman tactics in the film. And you hardly ever see real Roman tactics in the film. They just like gladiator at the beginning. That does oh, have so that Roman does, does, yes, yes. And the Roman burn it away. The Romans do not form Testido just for the hell of it because that's silly. <laughs> Yeah, what you do is when you're dealing with Germans, you fire massive amounts of bolts at them until half of them are dead. And then, like the officer says, then you set the woods on fire. And then, like the officer says, he says, "You really should understand when you've been conquered." Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is that gladiator? Yeah. Is it? Oh, I. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that was gladiator. Right. Anyway, um, so this this we're using this guy as Germanicus. Um, the would-be Emperor of Rome, he should have been the Roman Emperor. I know I'm one of those old-fashioned people who thinks that Germanicus should have been Emperor. The, the idiot fell off his horse, which is the most common form of death in the oldie times. Seriously, more English kings have died falling off the horse than fighting. 
All been beheaded by their own people. Well, was that really? Was it Vlad the Impaler that died? Yeah, he fell course. off his horse. Yeah, yeah. He was about to go like <laughs> do a massive battle and died. Yeah, him once. yeah, that happened. Yeah. Nah, that, that's this. Uh, just falling off your horse is just so normal. <laughs> um, that's why cars were invented. But then, then again, you die in cars as well. Yeah. Uh, if you believe the memoirs of Claudius, um, the um, his mother. Was oh so was it mother? Um, no, it was Nero. No, Nero's no, not Nero. Sorry, Nero was the child. It was Nero's mum, or is it Caligula's mum? Oh, I'm getting all confused now. Caligula's mother um, me. tried to um, have him killed. Sent some physicians to poison him, but he'd already died of his wounds by the time physicians arrived. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's so that's Germanicus and his awesome armor, and of course he's rearing up because his Germanicus was awesome. Um, he invaded Germany to get his own back for Varus's massacre. Um, and he did it very cleverly. He got nine legions, and he sent four legions to the north to invade Germany and make noise. And then he waited four months. Then he invaded the south, by which time all the German soldiers had gone north, and there was no one to defend the German homes, and he burnt them all and killed everybody. Yeah, I would have sent four, four legions and five legions just all at the same time at different, all different angles. Yeah, well, yeah, no, no. But the thing is, then, then the enemy are all fighting at the same time. Well, yeah, but if you think about it, like, um, if you only attack one area, that then four legions are going to have a hell of a time. Because they're, they're going to get the whole of Germany just... They did! Uh, but the thing is, the Spanish guy who put in charge, um, he actually turned up, he wasn't ordered by Rome, he turned up with a legion from Spain, he marched up and he said, I want to join him. He was put in charge. And he actually fought the Germans to a standstill before he withdrew. So he was actually doing quite well on his own without Germanicus's five legions. Um, but yeah, anyway, Germanicus wanted to burn Germany to the ground, which is what he did. Um, and the best way of doing it is doing it when there's no Germans. <laughs> the easy way. The easy way, yeah. And he was up against the, what are they called? The, the German, German tribe directly, the, the southern Germany. They, they had their own army and uniforms. They elected their leaders. Um, they were an empire, a proper modern empire, as far as the Romans are concerned. And um, one of the writers wrote that um, when this particular German tribe goes, they don't go to war, they go on campaign. Which to a Roman that's important because mm. they have lines of supply set up, they're not foraging, they have legions, but well, German version of legions, they have command structure, organization, and that's awesome. And then of course the third and most important is good old Vespasian. Yeah, head's just his. You just that's Vespasian's, Vespasian's head, Vespasian. yeah. Right, so we said about the heads, we have it's upside down now, so yeah, you know it's upside down. Deal with it. Um, so we have no. I'm gonna have to do it this way. Right. We have these heads, and of course, one of the heads is good old Uncle Vespasian, which is just awesome. Can't go wrong with Vespasian. Did you know our channel was named after him? Because he is my all-time favorite emperor, and no one else had taken the channel name, so. I thought I'd take it. This is way, way back when you were like four, That's and you said, I want to have a mutant channel. No, I wasn't four. How old were you? I was like ten. Ten? Well, it's the same thing. No, I was like, no, I was like, I was, like, I was 14 years old. No, you weren't. Yeah? No, I've seen those early videos. You weren't 14. 12? Possibly younger than that. Right, anyway, uh, this is Vespasian. The only thing missing is he doesn't have an arrow in his foot. Oh, yeah. He got shot in the foot. Um, he was patrolling the walls of Jerusalem. Um, when they were besieging the Jerusalem people. I don't want to get demonetized. So he was, he was besieging the Jerusalem people and um, he got shot in the foot by an arrow. <laughs> Which is funny, because, you know. Um, anyway, that's that's good old, old Uncle Vespasian. He's awesome. But he could be anybody. They could be anybody. They're just Romans. <laughs> but, um, we, you know, they, I kind of modelled them on each famous person. So we've got loads more generals to do. You get twelve in a box. So what what other ones are we going to do? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're dealing with England at the moment. Uh, we're doing. We're fighting well, the Germans. Well, you have to have Ofo or Efo. What his name is? Oh, we could do the whole set. We could do yeah. Otho, couldn't we? We are doing Italians. 
Well, um, no. at the time, no, 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 no. Um, at the time, Vitalius was um, friends with Vespasian, and so was also they were all friends. Yeah, I still don't like him. They all knew each other, and in one battle, they actually all fought together at the same time. I also, I don't know, I don't mind Galba. It was all right. Galba was there. Uh, then Nero, but he wasn't really taking part because he just instantly died. Well, he was around for a bit before he died. He'd, he'd like put the plumbing in Rome. No, as in, as in, as in as soon as the war the started, fire service. as soon as the year before it started, he just died. Well, that's what started the year before <laughs> Empress, because because Nero went and died. Yep. <laughs> What's worse, he killed himself, yep. which is even worse, <laughs> unless you believe the lying games. I'm not getting bold in it again. Yeah, I, I absolutely despise Rise, son of, son of Rome, which has got some good swordplay in it. It, I, I do like it, I just ignore the campaign. <laughs> I, I find the medieval castle out of place. I didn't know the Romans <laughs> built medieval castles, but apparently they did. And 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 Nero is an old fat man, for some reason, <laughs> when he wasn't old when His he died. His sons are completely lunatics. Well, let's not discuss Nero's sons. Um, and then <laughs> dies with his own sword, correct, but in a weird way. He died on a statue of himself in the in the in the in the game, which yeah. is why. Yeah. You know, if you actually did Rise of Rome based on the year of the four emperors, and you played one of the factions, like you could play Vitalis's forces, like be a German or like, like, like an open world game like uh, Skyrim. Yeah, Wait, or, or like the Van Valhalla game. Or like yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Do it like that, but one of you is someone working for Vespasian. He could be Titus or whatever. Um, or uh, who was Vespasian's champion? Agrippa? Pr Primus! Primus. So you could be playing Primus um, if you were, you were heading his side. Then if you were with the Germans, you'd be playing um, uh, is it Agrippa or Brutus, whatever his name was. Br okay, yeah, he had one of those sort of names. Um, but yeah, you can definitely like that. You can do that. Again, that people would love to play. Yeah. And of course, if you're playing um, Galba, you've got all, you'd be doing all the intrigue stuff. And the sneaky, stealthy, yeah. assassinating people, and, and and all the espionage. Whereas if you have a space, you just walk up to them and hit them, <laughs> and don't think too much about it. <laughs> Whereas if you're playing um, Vitellis, then you would be having to um, get allies. So you'd have to get in the German tribes to back you, in, um, you know, back you and your German legions to fight Vespasian. And if you're also, you're just stuffed. <laughs> He has such a bad lot. <laughs> no, I won't bring my army across the river because that would be insulting to the people of Rome. Oh, um, Galba sent some nice shiny troops out to protect me and help me into the... Oh, they stabbed me to death. <laughs> yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. Right. So anyway, we've just rewritten the next... We've just written the next Assassin's Creed. No, it's, the next Assassin's Creed is probably going to be somewhere doing something that's not important. Oh, uh, like the War of Independence. Yeah, the War of the, the Black Flag or something, was that called? Yeah, something like that. Oh, God. I need to play it. Pile of trash. I haven't played any of them, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla because it looked really cool. Yeah. We can have a girlfriend's obsessed with um, the Vikings, so that we get a choice. Oh, well, she's a Viking. Exactly. Oh, it was a Viking. I was descended from Vikings. Anyway, there we go. I'm not. I'm not descended from Vikings. It's really sad. Wish I was descended from Saxons. You're not either. No. Because you're my son. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Slipped up there. It's not my fault. <laughs> but you're mummy, so you're part, you're part English. It's not good enough. So, you know. I'm not pure blood. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, no. But then again, all the pure in blood England, are dead. Um, yeah, I think the Romans dealt with that. Yeah. There haven't been any pure blood English people since the Romans. Good riddance. Yeah, we're not missing them. Building wicker men and setting fire to people <laughs> and stuff. I hate to tell you about the Maypole. Like we still have Maypole Fe May Day festivals. You know we have a Maypole. Little kids, right? In in Britain, in England, we have a Maypole standing in the village green. Uh, in around here, you do anyway. And little kids dance around the Maypole with these little ribbons. Isn't it pretty? If you only knew what that was, like where how that started. It's. Yeah, the Romans um, did a lot of good in Britain by getting rid of the Pritani. Everything? Yeah, I've finished waffling now. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the early Imperial Roman generals. Yay! That's everything from me. And everything from him.
Goodbye. See ya.